Hey guys, what's going on? It's T-Carp. All right, wanted to talk to you today about this new knife that I've got that I actually picked up for uh, my Dave Canterbury class, my basic survival class there. Can you guess what it is? Eh, it is the Mora Garberg. So I uh, picked this bad boy up on my way up there, picked it up at Smoky Mountain Knife Works. Um, the Mora Garberg is a bushcraft style knife that is about let's say about five inches long it is full tang it is plain edge it's a really you know it fits all the markers got a 90 degree spine um i do like this knife i i tried it out a little bit at the class and um i switched it out for the pathfinder knife shop um buffalo skinner I, I went and got that knife, or, you know, I brought several knives to play around with. But one of the reasons why I switched it out was the 90 degree spine, I haven't, I, my screwed up one is I bought a new knife for the class and didn't practice with it. So when I was trying to shave my, uh, my fat wood and get my fat wood shavings, you know, I didn't have that turned the right way and I, I couldn't get that shavings. Again, stressful situation, all that stuff. So this came, uh, this came with an okay edge. I'm gonna touch this up. I'd already kind of touched it up earlier or kind of try re-edged it. I'm gonna finish up this edge while I'm talking about it. This knife runs about a hundred to $120. Um, so far, I really do like it. Um, I haven't batoned with it or anything of the sort but um it it looks to be like it's a, a good knife like i said i just didn't uh the things that i did with it like the scraping and the ferro it'll start a it'll light a ferro rod like nobody's business um so it'll do that i do want to play around with it a little bit more um and get it it does have this really uh cool um grip it's not um it's not wood or anything like that so it's not really super traditional there it's more or less like this really nice like grippy like plastic i wish it were a little bit more rubberized but i, I get what you know why they made it like that so it won't slip when it's wet and all that stuff it's got some checkering it's a good knife there let's finish this up and let's see how good this is let's drop it real quick this is made out of carbon steel so if you take the Dave Canterbury class, he really, really preaches on carbon steel blades. One of the reasons why he does that is so that you can basically use the back of your knife, hit it, create sparks, and spark it onto a piece of char cloth and get that, uh, get that fire started like that. So yep, that is really nice and sharp now. Let's see if it will cut some hair. Let's see if it will. I don't. Let's see. Oh, yeah, it will. Oh, yeah. I don't know if you all can see that or not. But, yeah, it'll definitely shave some hair. So, yeah, this thing is now hair, hair popping sharp. Again, just a few swaps, just a little bit of re-edging done. Once that re-edge done, or gets done this thing is just pretty rock solid there so we'll take this out on some um some you know some adventures to get more testing and review done but kind of the first look of this it's really not bad at all you can again see where i've used it see what i've done to it so far and and, and played around with it so all right so uh stay with me we'll see how this does but kind of right out of the box more knife review not a bad little knife